Well, what's crazy about the global rulers is they think they've got a plan, but I've really studied them. They, they've got a plan, but it's just wrecking even their own system. I mean, all this GMO is blowing back on them. All of this stuff's coming back on them. They're like, ah, use DU, ah, do this. I mean, really, they're just a bunch of crooks that can't even control each other. It's just, it's just like you said, what would you say about 10 minutes ago? It's just a criminality running rampant, just like... It's like an orgy, a feeding frenzy, a frothing, berserking, uh, a mad dash gold rush of feeding on sheep. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And, and intertwined in all that is all this modification of our food and all the medicines. You know, the DSM-5 is about to come out now. That's the, uh, the psychiatry Bible that has all these new definitions about water diseases. And the DSM, as we know, should stand for dollar sign manual because it's all about how to bill to make money while you're, you're putting kids on amphetamine drugs and street drugs and altering their brains, actually shrinking their brains because of these amphetamines. I mean, it's just one more assault on sanity in America. And I got to keep wondering every time I, I hear Paul Craig Roberts on your show or Gerald Salente, how long can this keep going on before something really fatally breaks in the system? And I wish I knew the answer to that. I don't. I, I, maybe some of your guests know the answer, but this can't go on. We know that. That's why I even told you privately the other day, Alex, I've been spending a lot of time on my ranch getting prepared. I've actually been working a little bit less and doing more farm work and putting in irrigation systems. I, I got to get ready too, man. All your, all your listeners got to get ready. No, I know. I mean, I've moved to the country and got a well and stuff and storable food and stuff. But I mean, my wife's like, you always say get ready. Get home. Get, get ready. Get get." Get things in place. They say this well isn't deep enough. We got to drill it deeper. We got to get everything together. We are building a big, bigger wall and fence around just the house itself. And uh, once this, I hope it doesn't implode. But if it does implode, anybody comes on my property, you know, you might as well just jump in front of a moving train. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it is certainly getting crazy, Mike. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it is. And we, we, you and I and others, who, everybody who, who's active out there, we've got to find that balance. Obviously, we, we serve the public interest in what we do, but we also got to make sure that we cover our own basis so we can stay healthy, we can stay safe, so that we can continue this fight on the front lines. You know, we've we got to make sure we're in good shape, too. Well, hey, I've lost almost 30 pounds, bro, and I'm eating nice. a lot healthier, and, and we've, got, we've always had most of the GMO out, but we're really getting more neurotic about it because it's not neurotic. We've just been eased into all this death, and I've, I've got to not be lazy. Looking at my children, looking at my wife, we are getting totally healthy. And uh, praise God for that. I want to come back and more into Ron Paul and Andrew Wakefield filing suit for defamation. This next clip is what the parrots on every channel, radio, TV, print, are saying to you, the people they see as slaves. They sit up there in their fancy suits with teleprompters and a glistening studio and say over and over again, he will not win. He will not be the nominee. Remember, he wouldn't get 1% of the vote. He wouldn't come in second place. He, he's nothing. He can't win. You can't have him. He's a kook. I mean, it, it is just mind control treating you like you're a complete moron. And here's an example of these people. The Borg saying you will be assimilated, you will fail. Well, I got news for you, as our article at InfoWars.com reads. Ron Paul has already won by getting the ideas out there. But let's go to this sickening clip of MSNBC's Lawrence O'Donnell. Hey, Lawrence, have you looked at Alexa.com? InfoWars.com is many times bigger than MSNBC.com. Look at your ratings. Your, your top shows might have 400,000 viewers. This show has millions a day. You're a legend in your own mind, and you're the, the incredible shrinking mouse that roared. So go ahead, bleed out, destroy yourselves in front of all of us. Here's the clip. So if you take Ron Paul out of this, and if you take out all those independent voters who went out there today for Ron Paul, what would have happened to Huntsman? Huntsman is the real second here. He, he came in in the real second. He came in in the real second. Came in in the real second. Let's stop right there. Strong. Huntsman works with Obama. What is the ambassador to China, works for Obama. Globalist all the way, puts out fake racist ads against Ron Paul, is a total turkey, and you've got the establishment saying, you know, a little bit of truth there, that Ron Paul's here to get ideas out. That's right, we win by fighting. The question is, look how far we've already come. He is second all across the country, or first. Ron Paul has a shot. Despite all, I mean, in the past, if they said somebody couldn't win, people would drink the Kool-Aid. It shows they're waning. 
Think of where they'll be in four years with Rand Paul or somebody else. They are shrinking. We are rising. How pathetic is this, Mike Adams? Well, it, it, even with their best efforts to try to crush Ron Paul's support base, they haven't been able to do that. And that's what's amazing about this. If it had been a fair horse race, Alex, Ron Paul would have won Iowa and he would have won New Hampshire already. He would be the number one uh, Republican candidate for president. So they, they can't stop it. And that's, that's the beauty of this. Like you always say, it's not about the person. It's about the ideas and the principles. And those are bulletproof. Those are personproof. Even if Ron Paul doesn't win, his ideas will win as long as we continue to advocate those ideas throughout the culture of America. That's right. We have the superior ideas. We're challenging them. We're getting in the ring. And every time we fight, we get exponentially stronger. And that's what's scaring the system so bad right now. And what's amazing is that they, when Obama signed the NDAA, he actually shoved a massive number of Americans over into the Ron Paul camp. Because remember all those people who apologized to you after Obama signed that? People woke up. They said, you know what? You were right. We are living in a police state. Now it's law. And so the more, the, the tighter they try to grip the, uh, their, their grasp, like the, the line from Star Wars, Lord Vader, you know, the, the more you try to uh, tighten your grip, the more we slip through your fingers. And that's true with the, the rebels in America, who aren't even rebels, we're just constitutionalists and restorationists. Yeah, we don't want to be ruled by absolute criminals who ship guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment and get caught and don't get trouble, or MF Global taking your bank account. Or, or yeah. any of it. I mean, there's no end to what these crooks will do. These are bad people. And yeah, they a... think you're morons. Uh, we'll be right back. I want to talk about uh, Dr. Andrew Wakefield, Sue's British Medical Journal journalist, Brian Deere for defamation. All right, coming up at the bottom of the hour after I talk to Josh and Freerider, Mark, Tommy, David, and others, covers from the news. We're going to get Luke Radowski popping in with a great confrontation with that nasty creature, uh, Nudie Genrich about Bohemian Grove. Uh, Dr. Andrew Wakefield, uh, we're going to get him on soon, has, he lives here in Austin, has sued the British Medical Journal, journalist Brian Deere over defamation. Now, this is the guy that came out and just said Wakefield made up his research about autism links and, and, and gut disorders in children, which it turned out there was a bunch of other duplicative studies that were never published by major hospitals. And, of course, it turns out that Wakefield was not lying, but they ran this media hoax that he'd been discredited. Uh, and so I wanted to get uh, the breakdown from Mike Adams on this front. Exactly. As you said, the lawsuit has been filed in Austin, Texas, and it does name the British Medical Journal and Brian Deere. What's important to understand is that this is not even a debatable issue of whether the BMJ and Brian Deere lied. They, they, they knew they lied. They smeared him intentionally. They distorted the facts. They were on an agenda to try to discredit Dr. Wakefield, and that agenda so far has worked for them. Because as you saw, the, what are we calling it now, the, the corporate horror hoax media ran with that story and attacked Dr. Wakefield and basically discredited him and in doing so discredited any link between vaccines and autism. Well, uh, Dr. Wakefield is going to have his day in court. And we're going to see the truth come out about this. And the truth is that Dr. Wakefield's research was meticulously conducted. It was extremely well documented. And the article published by the British Medical Journal is factually untrue. And in fact, they knew it was untrue. That's going to come out in court. And we're going to turn this situation around and actually end up discrediting the British Medical Journal. That will happen this year in 2012. And I'm sure that you're going to be probably the first organization to break this story as Wakefield comes on your show to give you more details. Yeah, he told me a few months ago about this, but said don't talk about it. And I know he's... Uh and everything codified and they're ready to go public here in the near future. We all need to pray for him because the system undoubtedly could engage in some dirty tricks uh, against him uh, in response to this. And the two or three minutes left uh, that we have here, Mike, what are some of the other big articles that you're looking at right now? Well, we've got articles about statin drugs causing or being linked to diabetes. One of the big things about these pharmaceuticals that the, the drug companies don't talk about, doctors don't even know, and of course the hoax media doesn't talk about, is that many of these drugs actually cause other diseases. For example, it's not just statin drugs that can cause diabetes, it's also psychiatric drugs that can cause diabetes. So let's say you go in and you, you get on a psychiatric drug because you feel depressed. 
but your, your blood sugar is normal and fine. Well, after a few months on a psychiatric drug, an antidepressant, you may then start to have blood sugar dysregulation, and you could get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So then they put you on a diabetes drug. Then you start to have liver dysfunction. So then they put you on a liver drug. This is how it works, Alex. This is called repeat business. No, it's like crack dealers giving you some free crack. It all causes chain reactions, and they know this full well. They knew that Prozac-type drugs were increasing suicide when they got it approved. And it took us decades to get it on the stinking insert. Well, yeah, and look at what vaccines cause as well. Vaccines promote liver dysfunction and kidney disorders. So if you, if you own a dialysis clinic, and, and they're growing all across the country, people got to go in and get their dialysis done, then of course you're going to promote vaccines because that's going to give you more dialysis business. The whole thing is a hoax, Alex. They know that vaccines and pharmaceuticals and GMOs, these are all business creators if, for, for sick people, for, for all the profits that are built on the suffering and the deaths of innocent people who, you know, they should be given a chance at a healthy life, but instead they're being pumped full of chemicals and DNA damaging components and foods and medicines. Everybody is being victimized in America. If you eat GMOs, if you take pharmaceuticals, you are allowing yourself to be victimized by the system. You're getting on an express train to Hades. Mike Adams, great job. Look forward to speaking to you soon. We'll be right back. He'll be co-host of the show next Friday. Stay with us. Thank you, Alex. What's up with these sorry politicians? Lots of art. When it's showtime, wimpling like little shih tzus. You want big cuts. Lon Paul's been screaming it for years. Budget crisis, no problem. Got a trillion bucks year one. That's trillion with a T. Department of Education, gone. Interior, energy, HUD, commerce, gone. Later bureaucrats. That's how Ron Paul rolls. Want to drain the swamp? Ron Paul. Do it. I'm Ron Paul, and I approve this message.